Hi all, welcome to Street Solar Life. Uh, I hope you have seen the videos related to the solar panel technologies which was published on our YouTube channel. I hope you have got some information about the solar panel, how it's supposed to be uh, uh, designed and all. Yeah, and today we are going to uh, we are going to talk about the solar panel sizing. Uh, the locations will be the Sikkim, uh, state of India, and the location will be Gangtok, and uh, it's near to. Uh, New Hotel Sikkim, that's the exact locations we are going to discuss about on this video. Yeah, uh, that's the Hotel uh, Norbu Gang Heritage Sikkim, so Hotel Sonam. Yeah, that's the locations uh, what we have considered on this video. Uh, today we will see that, uh, um, and I could say the latitude and longitude would be the 27.3329 and 88.6146 so that's the exact locations uh, what we are discussing uh, we want you to be clear of uh, what are the details we are saying uh, that so will be suitable for only for that particular location if you are shifting the same kind of design to somewhere else or far from the locations that will be impact on the readings so uh, that means to say is you are going to spend extra money on that so before installing the systems uh, you have to be make sure uh, you have to see the lot of uh, design criteria for the panels installation selections a lot of things so basically what we do is so we used to calculate the weather conditions so basically the panel performance purely based upon the weather conditions could be a temperatures radiations a lot of things pressures a lot of things orientations a lot of things are there and you have to see the panel specifications so we have considered gradient panel and polycrystalline so yeah and then uh, you have to um, lo look into the sub circuit called the uh, inverter conversion kit, uh, inverter charge controller, batteries, cabling, etc. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, we want you to be clear like uh, the selecting the panel is not the matter of cloud and KV and so on, so and even it's not a plug and play job. Yeah, it's purely uh, it's an engineering work, and you have to look into a lot of things uh, to avoid a lot of running cost uh, at a later stage. Uh, you have to consider the beginning stage so it will be more uh, good for you and your pocket also yeah and um, let's see what uh, readings uh, uh, loads we have concerns basically what we do is uh, we used to calculate how many loads you are using over daily weekly monthly and yearly so whatever the sizing we are saying for the entire year it's not going to be only for the month or something so we are calculating from the january to december based upon the weather condition and panel performance so we used to calculate the leading readings yeah uh, so let's see what uh, loads we have considered here. It could be a light fan or it could be any kind of a laptop, computer, televisions. That's it. We have considered lower consumption. We are not considered high rating of the loads uh, like a grazer or a air conditioner motor. Yeah. So um, for this calculation, assume if you have any kind of residential or commercial at the locations. Uh, let's see what uh, loads we have considered here. Here we have considered 25 watts, uh, four numbers. Uh, running 5 hours per day, 10 hours load, 8 numbers, uh, running 8 hours per day, 100 hours load, eight, 4 numbers, running 6 hours per day, 100 hours load, 2 number, uh, 4 number, four hours running per day, 50 hours load, uh, 2 numbers, uh, 12 hours running per day. Yeah, so all these loads running for the 100% of duty cycles. Uh, um, so uh, to run this load for the entire year, uh, let's see what units is required. Uh, it's almost uh, 2022 units uh, to be generated from the solar panel. For the entire year yeah uh, you can um, you can calculate for the average for what will be the monthly so we have considered from the january to december so in the summer it will give more reading and the rainy it will be giving a uh, less reading right so we have calculated for the entire year so what are the readings we are saying here that's going to be for after 10 year 15 and also it will be the performance for the next 20 year for sure yeah so basically we are the people who had many experience in the global projects for the solar and so we are also supporting to many firms and, and projects related to the solar technologies. So we are here to help you. If you have any concerns related to the solar, you got already installed the system, but you are not sure how many readings you are going to judge at daily or yearly or monthly, whatever. In that case, you can put a mail to streetsolarlife.gmail.com. Yeah. And uh, we have considered all the losses related to the solar panels. So we have considered the grid on panel and polycrystalline. If you have more budget, you can go ahead with the mono panels. Uh, when you talk about the budgetary panels, probably you can go ahead with the mono um, polycrystalline panel that is more than sufficient for the Indian sector. And uh, we have considered all the losses, uh, gauging, temperature, dust, etc. It means to say is uh, 
you don't have to clean the panels you know repeatedly you know, frequently you could say uh, you can do it once in a three or six months uh, that's more than sufficient so yeah so to achieve these units uh, you have to go almost um, yeah, 2400 WP panels um, to achieve the uh, units what I said just before uh, for that location so if you are shifting this panel from this location to somewhere else so uh, that will be impact on the solar panel readings true yeah uh, we want you to understand the solar panel the performance is purely based upon the latitude and latitude and lot of weather conditions and the panel specifications and you have to see the entire system designs and um, if you are planning for the storage energies so uh, to the backup or day uh, for a day autonomy we call it autonomy it's called a backup system for the day backup you need to go with your eight number of batteries uh, to achieve day autonomy uh, if you are planning uh, if your remote area or purely based upon the applications we are increasing number of um, uh, autonomies you can put a number of batteries by putting a series in parallel even when you're selecting the batteries as well you have to see a lot of temperature corrections you have to see the characteristics of the batteries or uh, DOEs and you have to see the cutoff level it means to say like uh, if you are generating certain level of the panel solar panel if you are discharging more from the battery systems uh, it will have more impact on the uh, battery uh, lifespan will reduce uh, if you are designing uh, very good at the beginning stage, uh, the battery lifespan will achieve more, you know, what you are expecting, yeah. So, um, I hope all the point has been covered here. Uh, so, uh, the systems, basically, we try, we trying to explain here, the selecting the solar panel or installing the solar panel is not purely based upon the cloud and KV and so on, so. It's purely based upon the loads, what you are going to use it daily or monthly, weekly. And you have to calculate all the engineering details and then you have to select the panels. Yeah, that's what we are trying to explain here. And you have, you have got uh, already installed, you are not sure how many readings you are getting it. Uh, in the case, you can uh, approach us. As well as uh, many people have been involved in the solar panels installation work. And you are not sure how many readings you have more concern about or what readings you are going to tell you to your clients. You are not sure. So in this case, you can approach sri-solarlife.gmail.com. Uh, we are here to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks again. Bye.